The Rode NTG3 versus the Rode Video Micro. One is $600, the other is $60. So one is 10 times the price of the other, but is it 10 times better? Today, we're gonna find out. Welcome to the film. We are giving each microphone a like-for-like -like comparison in some quintessential sound recording situations. First up, this very presenting setup. When we present an episode, we boom a microphone overhead and plug it straight into the camera. We usually use the Rode NTG3 and we have a Smart Rig XLR Phantom Power Adapter to convert it and plug it straight into the camera. The Video Micro, on the other hand, uses 3.5mm jacks, so it actually doesn't need an adapter. It plugs straight in with an extension cable. We are now recording with the Rode NTG3. The levels have been set so my voice is warm but not clipping. We're now recording with the Rode Video Micro. Its distance and position is exactly the same place and it's been leveled out to sound like the previous mic. At this point, both microphones have had no EQ adjustment made. They're just raw sound. They've simply been normalized to minus one decibels. So they sound just as loud as each other. When you compare the sound of these microphones side by side, it is clear the NTG3 sounds more full and clear, whereas the Video Micro sounds a little tinny. But considering the Video Micro is only a tenth of the price, it's holding up really well. To give the Video Micro a fighting chance, I'm going to tweak the EQ and attempt to match it to the NTG3. Let me play those clips again. We are now recording with the Rode NTG3. The levels have been set so my voice is warm but not clipping. We're now recording with the Rode Video Micro. Its distance and position is exactly the same place and it's been leveled out to sound like the previous mic. This is sounding much better. In all honesty, now the Video Micro sounds just as good as the NTG3 in this setup. But what if we're shooting a wide shot? Booming the microphone in the same position as earlier will place the microphone in frame, so we must move the microphone further back. Let's see how both mics handle booming from a significant distance. We are currently recording with the Rode NTG3 around 2 meters away. We're currently recording on the Rode Video Micro at the same distance the Rode NTG3 was. Positioning the microphone from a long distance is simply the worst way to record sound. You get a lot of noise, low levels of dialogue, and it picks up a lot of acoustic tone in the room. From my ears, both microphones sound very similar, and similar being both sounding pretty rubbish. So what about setting up a plant mic? Because the video micro is so small, it can easily be hidden in the shot, such as in a car taped to the sun visor. You just need to get creative and try to find a place to hide it in the shot. The NTG3, on the other hand, obviously has a harder job of being so sneaky. We actually have a video about different ways to record dialogue in a wide shot if you want to see some more methods. There's a card in the corner and a link in the description. Next up, we have Foley. We are going to record some clothing Foley in a quiet room with the microphone really close. The environment needs to be silent and the microphone needs to pick up the nuances in the sound. I'll be recording in sync with our film backstage, recording clothing Foley for the medium when he's doing a bit of kung fu. The NTG3 is an obvious winner. The higher sensitivity means it can record subtle noises a lot louder than the video micro. So when the volume is balanced between both mics, the video micro introduces a lot more noise into the sound. So to conclude, the NTG3 is obviously a better microphone that comes with the obvious higher price tag. It is more sensitive, so it records a cleaner and more well-rounded sound. It's perfect for recording high quality sound on short films but the video micro also has its place. We use it when recording behind the scenes because it's so easy to set up on top of the camera. It also wins in the not breaking the bank category. So if you're looking for a budget option, you can still record good sound for a short film with this microphone. So which microphone do you guys use and are you thinking of upgrading? Let us know in the comments below. You can also subscribe if you haven't done that already and remember to achieve it one shot at a time.